All right, guys, what's up? Wingnut here. Thanks for tuning back in. Today, we are going to be going outside and doing a range test. Today is Sunday, I think like 24th of April, something like that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, eat my breakfast, get my stuff made up, let my board charge, and then we're going to head out. I'm going to be riding in flow state today. feel like it's a good mellow even between the two. And I'm going to start from my apartments. And I'm just going to go down the back road to the marina we have down here. From there to this other lake spot called The Point. From there down through the school zone back to my apartment and I'm just going to keep repeating that route until my battery dies and then I'll have my old lady come pick me up. So I feel like there's just enough elevation and, and range, you know, not too much of one thing to really throw my test off. So hopefully everything goes good and um, yeah, let's get to it. And we are at 100%. Last time I was at 90%, but I figured if I wanted to get a full accurate range test, I needed to do an actual 100% charge.
video, it is a little bit windy today, so that will be taken into account. And I'll try to stop and see just how high the wind is today when I just want to go take a break.
the rip. The whole ghosting problem is definitely a firmware issue, not a sensor pad issue, I think, because I even I noticed when I was jumping off my board, it, it just, it would try to shoot a couple feet and everything, but even just now, I already have a little bit of foot fatigue, so I wasn't able to heal it. I kind of just fell off and instantly, boom, shut off. So that's really good. Glad to see the update fix that. Um, all right. And that was about a 3.7 mile ride from my house. And we are about 86% right now. Um, so yeah, that's not too shabby to start with. Today's video is brought to you by Float Flight. Stay floating, friends. And um, I don't exactly have a backup battery for this camera yet. So what I'm gonna do is just turn my camera off until I get done floating out of here. Cause the point is right down the road. And um, when I get to the top of the point, I'll start filming again up until the point where I get back to the house. And from what y'all see there is basically going to be the whole round trip. <coughs> and when I get back to the house, I will let you know how many miles that was. And then I'm probably going to leave the camera there if it's dead and let it recharge. And then I'll come back later after I've completely killed my board and had my old lady come pick me up and then I'll give my farther review up until that point. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all enjoy the scenery I'm trying to provide y'all with on this lovely day. If any of y'all are wondering what location this is, this would be Lake Tyler. Um, the part I'm at is actually located at White House, Texas. And if you're thinking about coming in checking it out come check it out also if you're enjoying these videos um drop a like and subscribe at the bottom it really does mean everything and if you want to see something else or have like every minute with the fever yeah. drinks up with some mind to a limit where it needs to be don't work like got vision i don't need to see i'm thinking mind over matter i believe hit me up drop a comment below um, i'm more than willing to listen so yeah i want to be the greatest like rock all right guys I just let Marina a couple minutes ago, and we're actually getting ready to come up on my work. recording on here at least 28 minutes we've already traveled about seven miles and we're at 76 percent so this is already starting to look a lot better than my trip to tyler um because that trip i was done by 14 miles all right so i'm at the point now and from here, we're going to see if we can't make it to my house, so let's do it. Only if I let it be, I can control anything if I can just think carefully, I control my destiny. Deep up in my mind, I manifest it, every morning I wake up obsessed and
instant disengage is so nice. Well, I'm actually pretty impressed. My camera barely made it, but we made it back to the house and I made it back without getting eaten by a dog. And uh, my eye's not looking the best. I've actually had a piece of metal in it or something for the last couple days and I haven't been able to get in the doctor, so. I'm gonna put my shades back on so you look at that. <laughs> but um, let's check my phone real quick before I jump off of here. Okay, so we've gotten in all together. 11.2 miles so far, and I still have 59% battery left. So, what I'm gonna do is go inside for a second, plug my camera up, and let that be charging, put some eye drops in, give me something to eat real quick. And I'm gonna get back on this thing and um, I'll get back to you. All right, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning back in. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into how my ride went. So, let's see. I started at 10.40 a.m. and rode for about 50 minutes on my first ride before I came to the house for lunch. And... I traveled about 11.2 miles, which, if I'm correct, left me at about, I want to say 59% battery, which wasn't too shab, and my max speed was like 22 miles an hour. My elevation gain and loss both were about 600, and I kept an average speed of about 13.4 miles an hour. Um, I don't know how good y'all can see that, but here's a little go around of my map. And, um, so that was my first ride up in, and, you know, y'all saw that with me. Um, what y'all didn't see was my afternoon ride. And even though I came home for a break, I didn't charge the board or touch it or anything like that. I just turned it off and set it in the house until I was ready to leave again. Uh, my afternoon ride, I started at... 1.49 p.m. and rode for around 57 minutes with a top speed of 21 miles per hour and an average speed of 12.1 miles an hour. Uh, the elevation gain and loss on that was about 755 and the distance was about 11.6 miles. Um, I did try to go slower on the other ride once I started to get to those lower battery percent range. But um, when I got back to the house, I ended up not having to have my old lady pick me up because I made it all the way back home, which I didn't expect to, and still had 18% left. So together, that's around 22, almost 23 miles, and I still could have at least probably gotten up to 25, maybe 26. So... That, I feel like, was a lot better range than I got when I went into Tyler. Now, some of the different factors. It was windier today than it was when I went to Tyler. However, there was a lot more elevation gain going to Tyler. Um, There's a lot less concrete. I had to stay out of the road because there's heavy traffic, so I was in the grass a lot. And... I was also in Apex the whole time, not flow, so there's a lot more aggressive torque going on. And I was rolling on about 7 or 8 PSI then, and I'm rolling around 11 to 10 PSI now. So overall, I was pretty upset when I went to Tyler and came back. But this initial review, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how it held up, especially with the new software upgrade. And that's something else I want to talk about. Not the software upgrade, the firmware upgrade. But the 6.1 firmware update, man, it helped out so much. Like I said earlier in the video, I noticed when I got off my board because I had foot fatigue and kind of just fell off front foot first, instant. There's no more of that slip back and forth and the wheel's still trying to get like instant disengaged. And I tested that multiple times and I thought it was really awesome. Um... 
Uh, and then another thing to push back, uh, I've never had an XR, but even I can tell you that when I first got the GT, the pushback was dangerous. It was like, you're going, you're going, you're going 19, and then instant 20 mile an hour, heavy pushback, and it almost threw me off a couple times. I'm not too sure. It hasn't been the cause of me falling off. And then the teetering thing everyone was talking about stuck in that 19.4 to 19.7 of the pushback state where it just wants to keep teetering you and then the ass slamming to the down when the pushback's got you going hard downhill, all that shit's gone. Um, some people have complained about it being not enough pushback, but if you read the board and pay attention to it, even I noticed when I was going too fast, that gradual pushback, and you can tell by the uncomfortability of your front leg muscles and how strained they're feeling because when you don't have pushback, I notice you don't feel that as much. So that's another good way to gauge that. But overall, I feel like I got what I wanted to out of this ride. Um, and hopefully y'all did too. So right on. Um, if you like the video, as usual, Drop a like, subscribe at the bottom, drop me some comments, let me know what you think, and can't wait to see y'all back for the next video. Have a good one.